Welcome to this video. Um, this video has been highly requested by many of you who watch my Kieran's training videos. Uh, each time I upload a new one, I get a ton of comments saying that my leg power has increased and you know people noticing uh, my progression. You know I could jump further, higher, all this, all these sort of things. And uh, a lot of people have asked me either on Facebook or on those YouTube videos um, what it is I'm doing to increase my jump, or even just asking to see my leg workout. So this video is basically me showing you exactly what I do in the gym. So to break it down, I train two days a week, uh, legs, I train legs two days a week. I train them on a Tuesday and a Friday. So the first half of this video is what I do on the Tuesday, that is my heavy day. So obviously self-explanatory, I go as heavy as I can for three sets of five on back squat and front squat, and then I do deadlifts, three sets of five as well. On the Friday, my lighter day, which will be the second half of this video, I do a sort of pause reps, three sets of five on the back squat, um, and then I'll do three sets of five explosive reps, and then the uh, same again with front squat. So pause front squat, and then light explosive reps. After that, I then go on to deficit pulls. I'll explain what they are later on, and rack pulls. Again, I'll explain what they are. So, the reason why I have a heavy day, a heavy day is mainly where I make my progress in squatting. Every each, every other week, I'll be able to add more weight and squat more, and my one rep max will be able to go up eventually. Uh, the reason I have, I have a lighter day is to work on my speed. Uh, the faster you can move the bar, the stronger you will become, uh, obviously, over time. And um, speed, obviously, equals power, so if you can move... If you can stand up out of a squat really fast with a heavy weight and you're able to keep adding weight each time and keeping it fast, then that will obviously have carryover to how far you can jump. If you can perform the action of a jump very fast, you're obviously going to be able to go further than someone who can't jump quite as quick. Uh, for example, if you're doing like a running pre to plyo, you need to, ha you need to be able to change your form really quick from the running pre to be able to plyo. Obviously, if you're travelling at quite a fast speed, you need to be able to quickly snap from the running pre into the ply position and be able to propel yourself as far as you can. So they obviously help with that. Now getting on to deficit pulls, which you'll see in the second half of the video. Basically, I stand on a bumper plate and that increases my range of motion for my deadlift, uh, making me faster, picking the bar up off the ground, which of course strengthens mostly the hamstrings and the glutes, which is part of the posterior chain, which will have carry over to how far you can jump. Rack pulls work on the lockout portion of the deadlift. It's an overloading technique I use to, to help my deadlift. Um, I think rack pulls probably help near enough the most because when you jump, you probably bend down to about a 45 degree angle to propel yourself up and forwards. On a rack pull, you're starting from the bottom of that 45 degree angle and overloading it with, with as much weight as you can, keeping good form and driving up. So if you can get if you can get that with like a good heavy weight, you know, slowly progressing each time and getting faster and faster, then your jump is definitely going to go up. So um, I've talked through through most of this. I'm not going to explain, you know, what what weight I'm doing or any of that. But uh, you've watched this far, and now when this commentary ends, I'm going to try and make the second half more enjoyable to watch because I know it's boring to watch me just do sets and sets of squats and deadlifts and all this and all these things but many of you have, have asked to see it so I've gone out my way to to make this video for those who want to see it um, if you think I've missed anything or you still have any questions about anything feel free to leave them in the comments below and I'll do my best to reply to all of them this commentary is over now so I'm gonna make the second half of this video more enjoyable to watch with some music and some fancy editing so enjoy Thank you. 